Today we're going to be testing all of these YouTuber products to see which one is really the best. There are so many to go through, so let's start with the first one. It is time for the chair round. We have PewDiePie's chair, one of the most goaded YouTubers of all time, and we're comparing it to a Secret Lab chair. Now the PewDiePie chair with clutch costs $600. This chair is $300. And it already broke. We were trying to get B-roll of it spinning and this happened. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Jeff! I'm so sorry. My bad guys, this chair doesn't spin well. Let me just say that now. It doesn't. Try spin it. Well, you're just good at spinning. This one does spin a lot easier. But I mean, that's not what you get a chair for to spin it. We just wanted to get a cool spinning shot. So it already broke, which is a little disappointing from one fall that it broke. It's, it's just a crazy. simple fall. I didn't even push it that hard. <laughs> I feel like I'm defending myself here. But. All right, you feel the comfort of this one. First of all, I just want to say I love the design. Like this pattern is so sick. The PewDiePie logo embroidered into the chair is also awesome. First it. How's yours feel? It's very comfy, especially like I like this back support thing. It's very squishy and very comfy. Yeah, these chairs are a little bit more stiff. The Secret Lab chairs are always stiff. Good support. I have a question. Can your chair do this? Oh yeah, I nearly fell back. You almost <laughs> fell. You lifted. Let me see if my chair. <laughs> my chair can do that. <laughs> it doesn't hit as hard, I feel Wow, like. and well, it's more it stable. Yours does hold on. do that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Maybe it's not more stable, actually. <laughs> this is definitely one of the top five things about this chair. Or actually top one. See, that didn't happen to me. Maybe if I go aggressive. Okay, I don't want to break this chair any more than it already is broken. These things don't lock in, so they're always movable. You can go side to side, too. Pretty yeah, these, standard. These lock. Damn. This is a battle. This is. I don't know. You want <laughs> this chair is not stable. <laughs> Here, let's let's feel the comfort. It's honestly though, comfortability. It's ten. Nine point five. Nine point five. That is good. Oh, this is like stiff. a lot stiffer. Yeah, this is comfy. It's yeah. like meshing to my my bottom. When you think of a mattress, right? It's like comfy versus firm. This is full firm. That's full comfy. Good spin. You got a good spin. Try the lean back. You know, maybe you feel more supported. Right? <laughs> Dude, this is sick. I do feel more supported right? leaning all the way back. Like, I feel like I'm in a bed. I already feel the legs lifting up and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even like... I don't know how you fell out of this one. Go up. I hate, I hate chairs. I'm out of here. I hate chairs. All right, we'll end this round. I'm going to have to give it to... Secret Labs, because it's half the price. Yes. Even though that one is more comfy, price-wise, I gotta go with Secret Lab. I agree. They pretty much have the same functionality. This one's just softer. We are here for the sports round. Now, in the last YouTuber's product video, Dude Perfect went up against Danny Duncan in the sports round and lost two rounds. So it's Dude Perfect's redemption time. We're testing out the basketballs. We have the Dude Perfect basketball versus the Mr. Beast basketball. We also have the Bucket Squad ball, the eyeball. Now the Bucket Squad basketballs are obviously the best basketballs in existence. You literally can't miss with them. <laughs> but they're so good, so we're not even gonna compare it to them. Also, we had to get a used one on eBay because they shut down their store for some reason, temporarily. The Beast Ball goes for $25. This one costs $42, so price point already. Feel the grip. I feel like this one is a little bit harder. This is definitely an indoor basketball. This one feels like it could be a hybrid. Let's take a jump shot with them, see how they feel. I'll start with the beast ball. Now people don't know, but Mr. Beast is actually a hooper hooper. You played with him. I played with him. Me and Mr. Beast, we actually went on a nine game win streak. That's different. And we were playing against Dude Perfect people. Were you? The, the twins were, all, were playing too. So they already lost. Well, they didn't lo lose. I, I, that's <laughs> they did lose in those games, but we'll see. Oh, oh, you gotta try this, right. cause you know. Oh my God. It's hard to say, cause that ball has been used. This one's brand new. This one's got that like new ball sticky feel to it. Like super easy to palm. I can go crazy with it. Cool, just design wise. Oh, look at that. 
You seeing that? Oh! First couple shots and there's already bleeding on the ball. Okay, this material is coming off. Wow, that just lost some points from me. I mean, it is a basketball that's gonna happen, but already? Let's talk about design. Now, my question, is that an eyeball? See, the thing with Mr. Beast, all his designs are very pop, they pop. Yeah, you know I like saying? the like, colorways. The colorway is sick because it makes this stand out a lot. This kind of like- It's like a, looks a like. simple basketball. Very simple. I kind of like the color better on this one. I'm already leaning heavy on this. One for the price point, two, how it feels design, everything is great. I'm gonna have to give it to Mr. Beast because mainly the price is better. Both balls feel really good. They're like nice indoor basketballs, but price-wise, I mean, it's $17 less. This was a little bit concerning, but it happens. <laughs> Bucket. This is the best cereal made by the Sidemen. What's really cool about this cereal is it only costs $2.15, which is crazy. Now it's only sold in the UK, so we literally had someone go and buy it and ship it all of the way to the USA just for us to try it. Talk to me, what's your flavor? Mine is Cocoa Crunch. I don't know why there's an H in there, so would that be... Oh, sorry, Choco. <laughs> I got the caramel gold. Okay, definitely smells like caramel. Milk in first, and then cereal after. Nice. If you don't do it like that, you're Yeah, because now weird. it's like not got milk on it. Yep. I don't know how they do it across the pond, but nice. Let's try these bad boys. Yeah. The caramel. And pretty solid. Yeah, it's good. I like the texture. It's very dense chocolate or a dense cereal. Mm -hmm. So I like the, the texture a lot. Yeah. All right, let me get in here. Mm. You know, it's okay. Nice no, flavorful. Am I chewing? Kind of quiet. No, I actually like the chocolate one better than the caramel. Really? But I will say, you know, it's good because Jeff is gluten free mm -hmm. and he's going for seconds and thirds. I'm he would not my be life. doing that no, if it, was if it wasn't good. So no. that's how you really know it's best. I might die. Overall, I'm giving this a huge W considering it's only $2. It's a healthier cereal and it actually tastes good. Dubs. This is a W. This is the subscription box round. We have Vsauce's Curiosity Box. So you get one of these every three months. It costs $60. This is Mark Rober's Crunch Labs. You get one of these boxes every month for $30. Now I will say with this one, came in a plastic wrap, but there's like glitter coming out of the box. So I'm guessing there's some type of glitter in here. We got the science guys. Big yeah. fan of both of these guys. Wow, okay. There's a lot. I don't love that there's all this glitter coming out of it. It's intriguing though. <gasps> All right. Whoa. Okay. You open, I read instructions. Okay. Oh, stickers. This, oh, nice. We got a sticker. This says spin blow. Whoa. Oh, spin and blow it. Or spin and then blow. <laughs> <laughs> Place the spin blow on top of the package on the little depression in the center. Whoa. Whoa. And you can speed it up by blowing. Whoa! That's sick. That is so That's cool. That's what it meant by spin and then blow. It says the spin blow may also be used on a regular surface. So that already is such a cool little thing. I love that. Oh, we get a t-shirt. We got some cell stuff going on. Why is it some of it is upside down? Very fine print. Too. Wait, it's all upside down. Mm. Okay, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I put this on, if I can read it looking down, bro. Okay. I feel like your teacher would not let you wear this to a science test. Yeah. Does this count as cheating? Yeah, so I can read it upside down. Oh, commonly misspelled words. I hope restaurant is on here. It is. Oh, wow. You have a hard time wow, spelling restaurant? I do. Wow, it's useful. It's Fun fact, huge. Jess. This could be making you 13% more attractive. Really? That's one of the facts that it has. In the do you think I'm more attractive wearing this? He just bit his lip looking at me with the shirt on. I should let the shirt do the talking. Yeah. All right, let's see what the next thing is. Fragile, open with care. Okay, so we gotta be careful. Oh, oh. That's why. No! So there's supposed to be an hourglass in here. There's Dang. supposed to be a diamond hourglass, time is money. 100 carats of diamond that measures out one minute. Wait, so this is diamond. This is all diamond. It's everywhere. Okay, so obviously it's disappointing because look, it has like a soft material so it doesn't break on both sides. It's supposed to be held, yeah. Came broken, it's sad. Next up we have the solar lighter. So you need the sun for this. The sun is not out right now, so we're not gonna try it. Let's just see what it looks like. Focus the sun's rays to a dazzling point. So it's, it's supposed to light things on fire. Yeah, like if you were to see like a, a slug, 
Just kidding, do not do that. And then it comes with an octopus puzzle, which seems like a lot of fun to solve, but we're not gonna do that right now. Honestly, this was overall a bit sad about that, but overall it's a W for me. So next we got Mark Rober. Again, this is $30 and you get once a month. Every month you get a different item. This is specifically the disc launcher. Basically you get to learn how to build it. New video unlocked, build along and learn. So I guess you can scan the QR code and it'll provide a video so you can build it alongside with Mark Rober. He's gonna take a bit to build it, so we'll build it and test it out now. With a lot of hard work, I built this myself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shout out to my boy. He built it for me. It's actually electronical. So you turn this on and it starts spinning. And then you literally just use this little lever. I'm going to shoot one to Jeff. You can honestly do trick shots with this thing. Ready? Yep. Whoa. I didn't catch it. I need another one. I didn't Come catch on. it. You got this. Yay! Let's go! Oh, I'm gonna try to make a shot. Oh. Steph Curry. Oh. Close. Jeffrey Bowie. Oh! Oh. Jezzer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is cool. I think the best part is the experience of building it with Mark, but this is a cool little gadget. I love that it's like, you know, teaching kids engineering is a huge W. Overall for this round, I'm giving it a tie. Great. They were both really cool. Next product. This product has been over 10 years in the making. I'm excited to announce the Jesser Over the Door Mini Hoop, which is now available in your local Walmarts all across America. Now I will say I've been practicing my handles with this ball, so I'm actually not Rita. horrible. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! He nutmegged it. I'm lethal. I pushed the mid air too. Oh, come on now. One zero. You know, I'm like, I have but a boost can you shoot on it? this. But can you shoot it? Show me. <laughs> oh! Oh, you got Oh! Oh! Oh, this head! Oh! <laughs> Good game. You Blake Griffin me. I Blake Griffin you. I'm gonna show you all my favorite things about it. It's super high quality. Obviously has to have the breakaway rim. As you can see that when you make a shot, it lights up. There's a bunch of different game modes on it. So there's one that's 24 second shot clock. How many points can you make? You could shoot from wherever you want. Challenge your friends. The LEDs are super cool. So the sensor's right here. So if you make it. You know, it goes crazy. It's counting down right now. The breakaway rim is amazing. I love dunking on the mini hoops, doing dunk. I've done literally dunk contest videos 10 years ago on a mini hoop. So to have my own hoop that's now in Walmart is insane. And if there's no Walmarts around you, there's a link in the description. You can order it on walmart.com. So I'll link it down below. Also comes with this beautiful mini hoop basketball and a pump for it. I also just want to say thank you so much for everybody watching because without you guys watching and supporting, we would never have a products actually in stores and to have a mini hoop something i love in the stores is even cooler and it's like something i really think is dope i really love i'm gonna give y'all a trick at home once you get your hoop yeah yeah show if, you, if your homies here be like hey yo fix the net oh okay <laughs> i dunked on my mom the other day like that <laughs> it's a blessing i want to just thank you guys so much to have a product in walmart is insane if you want to get it it's so much fun super high quality Go cop. And if you get any highlights, send them to me. I want to react to them. It's time for the sweets round. I think I'm most excited for this round. I have a big sweet tooth. So we got four different competitors today. We have FaZe Blaze's Charged Chocolate, Caffeinated Chocolate, Mr. Beast, his Feastables. We got the old versus new flavors we're going to test. Ryan Trahan's Joyride Candy and Pokimane's it's Midnight Mini Cookies. So we're going to start off with the Charged Chocolate. This whole box comes with 12 packs, $42. So a single pack is $3.50. Each chocolate ball has like 54 milligrams of caffeine. That's a good amount. They add caffeine to literally everything these days. Okay, so it comes with three chocolate balls. Each chocolate ball is also 90 calories. This has to taste good. If it doesn't taste good, never again. Why does it look like this? Oh my God. That's not a ball. <laughs> I think this melted. It looks like a taffy, you know, like when you buy taffy candy. That is not a ball. This is how mine turned out. Okay, definitely a little disappointing. I don't know who's to blame. Yeah. <laughs> I should blame the product on this, but it's crumbling. Let's just assume that this is, yeah. I really don't like that. That's bad. Yeah. Taste-wise, it reminds me of like 
the cheapest Easter candy you could get, nice. like the Easter bunny, yeah. formed into one. I think it all melting together. It didn't have any crunch. Like it looks like you would have like a nice crunch. Zero crunch. Yeah. If I can give that a thumbs down, I would give that a heavy thumbs down. Yeah, I don't know if it's the caffeine that made it taste bad or something. Oh, so, yeah. Something was off. Not to be a hater if you want to try it yourself. Go like, ahead. Like, I feel bad giving negative That's reviews true. to YouTuber products. But you gotta be true. I'm also a YouTuber, but yeah, yeah. that was ass. Maybe it's how it came. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we have Feastables. We have the old versus the new. These bars are $3.50 and these bars are $2.19. Obviously they're smaller. Let's test the original formula and then we'll test the new formula. Now let's look at a health comparison. This whole bar is 340 calories. This one is 190 calories. Hard to judge because yeah, they're, they're different, different sizes. Size. I don't think you can. So this one had 14 grams of sugar. This one's already 15 grams of sugar or 18 grams. So this is already more sugar than that whole bar. Yeah, I think the new formula might be a little bit more unhealthy, but probably why it tastes way so better. Good, yeah. This, this is the original milk chocolate. I'm gonna try it out. Insanely bitter. And it tastes more like dark chocolate than milk chocolate to me. I'm not a fan of this one. New mm. formula. Now that's milk chocolate. That is a million times better. Wow. You know what it kind of tastes like? It reminds me of like a Lindent. Yes, that? yes. That's what it reminds that's me what of. That's what it is. Like a, a very gourmet chocolate. That is so delicious. Like I would give this like a three out of 10. This specific flavor and this like a, oh. a 10. Yeah, perfect. Like <laughs> how do you get better than that? All right, these nuts. Now this is iconic because I think they got like sued by a nuts company. So they're not allowed to call it these nuts anymore. Now this is actually my favorite flavor from the old bar. I used to eat one of these a day. Really? <laughs> problem because like shout out to the Feastables they sent us like a bunch of them and I was literally eating one of these a day Trevor can confirm behind the camera so this is my favorite flavor yes it's gosh I'm gonna put like a, a seven or an eight whoa it's, it's much more creamy looking in the newer one yeah look at that but this is such a thin bar all right here we go Reminds me of like a Reese's peanut butter you're no. calling it the inside right, exactly I'm gonna give that one a nine all right let's try the crunch the crunch is fine, but still the chocolate formula is not it on the old one. New formula. Mm. Mm. Definitely added more crunch into it. Yeah. If we're comparing new formula to old formula, mm. old formula is straight dog water. Mm -hmm. That was a dub. Yeah, healthy wise, it, who cares about the healthiness of it? But Mr. Beast chocolate, yeah. Now we are moving on to Joyride, Ryan Trey hands candy. So they got four different flavors. They got the pink lemonade, the sour blue raspberry, the sour strawberry, and the sour green apple. We got Ryan on the packaging. I like the packaging. So I think it is trying to be like a healthy candy is the big thing, only four grams of sugar. No artificial sweeteners, flavors, or preservatives. <laughs> it is a plant-based candy. Each of these is $6.25, or you get $25 for the four pack, which is what we did. So let's test this bad boy out. All right, I heard this was the best one. So I say we save this for last. You're gonna have to grab a piece. I'll kind of... <laughs> <laughs> no! No! We gotta share the strip. Five second rule. <laughs> no, that thing was... <laughs> All right. I would say for a healthy candy, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like I went on my healthy candy journey and the candy was always so incredibly chewy, but this is easy to chew, which is what I do like. I don't care that it was on the floor. Actually, there, I have so many yeah, more. I, yeah. I, yeah. Try sour apple next. Oh my God, see, same situation. No, no, this oh, one's no, way better. Good. All right, I'm excited to get a full one. Green apple strips. Mm -hmm. I would say my main critique is I wish it was more sour. Like I'm getting more green apple than sour green apple. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's good. A little Easter egg on the back Ryan did is he put Ryan plus Haley. So, so he shouted sweet. out his wife on every box, every bag. So wholesome. All right, here we go. Pink lemonade. That was okay. Pink lemonade is my least favorite flavor. This I heard was the most popular flavor. I heard it sold out first. The cool thing that they always oh, say, nice. there's no artificial colors. Mm -hmm. So this is how blue raspberry should look if it didn't have artificial flavor, so. Is blue raspberry a real thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good question, I don't know. All right, here we go. Okay, this one's a little bit more yeah. sour. This is the most sour. If I were to order them in terms of flavor ranking, this is my order. Yeah. Do you agree? 100%. So now we have Pokemanes minus snacks. So you can get a four pack of these for $28. The internet was very heated about this price range. Now they're healthy cookies. They are gluten-free. 
So gluten is like wheat. You're gluten free too. I'm also yeah. gluten free. Jesse and I are both gluten free. Oh, give me some. Yep. There is a text message sequence in the back. So let me read this off. New snack, who dis? For minute snacks, full of the good stuff, free from the bad stuff. What's the good stuff? Real ingredients, sustainability source, vitamin D, no gluten, non-GMO, nothing artificial. So it tastes like cardboard. Not even close. You'll be shocked on how yummy these are. Smiley face. All right, we're not getting paid enough to do this, That's so we're not going to do an ad read. That was crazy. <laughs> we almost just did a free ad read. I saw <laughs> someone try it and say the cookies are so dry. So it would be interesting to see if that's true. It looks like it's gonna be like a delicious Oreo type vibe. Here we go. It's actually not bad. For being a gluten-free cookie, I don't think it's bad. It's definitely dry. Yeah. But the fact that it's gluten-free gives it points. <laughs> you don't like it, I can I don't tell. Like you it. don't like I it. I don't like this. It tastes like it'd be healthy. I wouldn't buy it. Cause I, I just wouldn't buy a bag of cookies But like if that. it was laying around, you'd smack it. I wouldn't just eat one and be like, I'm not having any more. I'd probably eat a couple. Is it with the best cookie I've ever had? Definitely the hell not. Yeah. I don't want to <laughs> act like I'm some like Pokemon <laughs> Sim because I, everyone seems to hate the cookies and I'm like going against that. But is it a top five cookie? No. No. Is it yeah. top 10? No. no. But you enjoy it. I wouldn't even call it top 20. Yeah. Is it horrible? No. My so, honest review. I'm gonna just go off of taste because obviously some are meant to be healthier products, some aren't meant to be healthier products, but in terms of taste is how I'm gonna rank them. I have my ranking. I wonder if it's gonna be different from Jesse. All right, I'll put my ranking and you see if you agree with yeah. me. Yeah. So I'm going Feasible is number one, Joyride number two, these number three, and then Charge number four. Okay, we can agree to this. I, is a preference for me, I <coughs> think the chocolate's Amazing, the best chocolate on the market, but I am such a gummy guy mm. and I love this. Also love that it's sugar free. That's so this is my ranking. I respect it. Can we agree? These are like way up here and <laughs> these are like not bad. Yeah, I would say like, like if this was a scale of like greatest to worst, I would have it like, <laughs> I'd have it like, like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have another round of sports. We have Dude Perfect's Blitz Ball. So it comes with this bat and three of these Blitz Balls. It costs $45 and we're comparing it to Nelk's Full Send Cup Pong Table. Dude Perfect lost the last sports round. So this is their chance to tie it up. It goes and hit that wall. Okay. Home run. Damn. Oh, so we're stringing them. I didn't want to say I suck at baseball. Bro, we literally cannot get a good hit. User error? Product error. <laughs> Bang! Home run, baby! That was nice. That was sick. Now, obviously, you'd probably play this at a park, not inside, but it is fun to hit. Uh, ball still fully intact. Doesn't even look like it got hit. The bat is just a plastic bat. But for this type of ball, you wouldn't want like a proper bat, right? Mm, that's or true. Or would you? $42 though. Like a regular bat, that like, is a wooden bat, costs 20 bucks. A ball probably costs like five, 10 bucks. So. This is technically more expensive than the real Yeah, deal. I think the price is a little, it, it's a little much. You about to give me a stick and a rock. <laughs> <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> We're gonna play a match. Loser gets a basketball thrown at them aggressively. <laughs> Let's go! That's different. All right, this is oh my, my last God. cup specialty. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, the backboard is right there. <laughs> yeah! The products were vastly different. I'm gonna give it to the table because that's what I would rather use. I agree. I'm taking the table. Two perfects. I love you too. You guys are my favorites. You guys are but great. But I'm sorry. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll stand right here. All right. Oh! <laughs> I hate this game. This is Nick D. Giovanni's brand Osmo. This is the roasted garlic sea salt. This costs $17. And this is the black truffle salt. This costs $40. Almost more than double. Yeah. So we're going to be playing a little game for this round. So we have three sets of fries. Two of them have these Osmo salts and one has just a regular salt on them. We're going to have to guess which is which. Let's start on this side. Mm. That thing is strong. I think that has to be the, the roasted garlic. garlic. Right? I agree. Yeah. That was good though. I definitely enjoyed that. 
Mm. Regular salt. Regular salt. No hint of anything but salt. So that leaves this as the black truffle. And there are black specks on this. We're geniuses. <laughs> wow. Strong mm. truffle taste. Yeah. That was delicious. Okay, I would have to say my favorite is this one, the truffle. Yes. Then this one, which we're assuming is the roasted garlic yeah. and regular salt. Great. Let's see if we're right. Regular. This is roasted. Mm -hmm. We're geniuses, bro. Truffle. Yep. Yeah, I think if I were to make a steak and then I use that truffle salt, like I want to go home and make like a nice ribeye right now. Surprise with like a, somebody. Be like, hey, I just got a recipe and just all you do is the same thing and just add it and see how they get it. Yeah, that is actually delicious. I feel like 40 is expensive, but I mean truffle, I don't think you can make truffle without it being kind of expensive, right? Right, yeah. And this is a cheaper way. $40 just for truffle. Like, and that's a good amount of salt too. Yeah, that will definitely last a pretty long time. I would say in terms of elevating your meal, Comparing the, these two salts to this salt, it's like a whole nother level. It's night and day. I like how it looks premium. Like black and gold, it makes it feel premium. Yeah. Especially if I'm getting some truffle, it needs to feel premium. Facts. So it does a good job at that. Shout out. This is a good product. It's time for the socks and shoes round. I'm super excited for this round. So we're going to start out with the socks. We have Mr. B socks, Teddy Fresh socks, which is Ethan Klein's brand. And then we have Preston socks down there. Mr. Beast is $10. Teddy Fresh is $12. Preston is 10. Preston, this for 10 is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is clearly the wrong size for me. Oh no, see, look, you have big feet. I mean, I am a size 12, so these socks are one size fits all. They, they fit a little bit better, I'm size 10. I feel like with the shoe though, the fire design. Get cut off. You just get the tip of the fire. How do you like the quality? Like, is it very, It's uh, very thin, thin. yeah. yeah. I definitely wouldn't want to play sports in these socks. Yeah, they feel like dress socks, if you ever wear dress socks. Yes, know. that is what it feels like, a thin dress $10. sock. $10. Now for the Teddy Fresh socks. These are also fire. I really do like the design on these. This is a dope sock design with the fire going forward and back, the orange and the red. This is definitely the thickest sock by far. Oh, okay. Fits. Hopefully it fits you as well. It fits me. This is a solid sock. So do you think this sock is better than the sock you have on right now? The Nike dry fit socks are classic. I mean, you get like six pairs for 20 bucks, which is hard to beat. But in terms of like quality, I mean, this is a fresh pair. These have been washed and worn a hundred times. I don't know. I do love my Nike socks. Yeah. All right, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. What the? It's a crazy sock. <laughs> it's definitely the craziest design. Dude, these are like uh, soccer socks. Wow. These are dope. <laughs> they are like soccer socks, bro. You could. It is so high. Well, I, yeah, I think I have mine a little too high. I think it kills the design going really high. Yeah. More than it does yeah. being normal. It could be a normal sock. I mean, they're comfortable. If I were to rate the three socks, I would do it like this. This would be my rating. The Agreed. Teddy Fresh, then the Beast, and then the Preston sock. Agreed. I'm on the same. Quality on this one is a lot. Yeah. Quality wise, this is the best. This one's also pretty thin, honestly. I've never seen Mr. Beast wear these socks, so. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't see him wear these socks. We have the Danny Duncan running shoes at $75. The Donovan Mitchell X Ninja collab at $100 basketball shoes. And then these Adams Marquez Brownlee shoes, which cost $189. Damn. Let's start off with the Danny Duncan ones. Now, design wise, it's just a super clean, all white running shoe, but the bottom, you know, Danny Duncan signature, 69, all on the imprint, which is hilarious that this is gonna be the imprint left by the shoe. And the top is so clean, it just has a signature on it and a signature on the insole as well. Whoa! Go get it. How does it feel running? It feels fine. You look taller. I do love when a shoe gives me a little extra height. Well, how's the ankle support? You feel like you're The like... ankle support is a little scary. Yeah, you look like you're about to roll. Yeah, I feel like my foot's kind of sliding like from side to side a little bit. Like it doesn't feel like super firm mm -hmm. in place. But I feel like that's kind of how running shoes are. They're always like a little bit thinner. They look sick though. Yeah. I like how clean they are. Yeah, very like sick. If you need a clean pair of white shoes with 69 on the bottom. These are the shoes for you. Yeah, how clean they are, I love it. All right, so the Donovan Mitchell Ninja Shoes, about $100, and these are my size, so I'm trying it on. Dude, can I just say, how did they not do like a video together or something? Dude. I didn't even know this was a thing. This Bags. is legendary. Also, let me highlight parts of the shoe because I was looking at it earlier. It's pretty cool. So you got, obviously, the Donovan Mitchell logo with his at Spida Mitchell on it. This one has at Ninja on it. The back says 
Determination over negativity. Wow. There is a bunch of different emojis. So uh, I, guess, I guess they have their favorite emojis. They got the hunted emoji, the spider emoji, the laughing emoji, the praying emoji, the mouth tied shut emoji. I'm a little confused on the choice of emojis, but it's pretty cool. Just spam emojis. It's just random emojis. But this is a dope shoe. Like, I really like the gradient on it. You get a little tag, too. Ninja tag goes crazy. Bro, the ankle support on this is immaculate. Oh, dude. Has Donovan Mitchell wore those in game? Not the ninja ones. Dang. But I've definitely seen him wear these, his shoes. Okay. Damn, I feel fast. And this thing has awesome grip. Look. And the ankle support's amazing. Overall, great shoe. I like the look. Obviously, I'm not the one feeling it. Yeah. But... Jay, a jump shot real quick. Can't miss. No, these shoes are clean. I love them. Yeah. And finally, the most expensive shoe, Marquez Brownlee with Adams. These go over 189. Crazy. I mean, Adams, I feel like all of their shoes are very basic and I kind of like crazy shoes personally. So design wise, not my favorite. Ooh, one thing I will say, I like the laces. They have stretchy laces inside them. The nice thing about stretchy laces, is you can really like Mm. Go like this. It makes it putting on shoes way easier. I wish all shoes came with stretchy laces. It's like a game changer. Like, look how easy that is to wow. put on the shoe. The stretchy yeah. laces are game changing. There's the 251. I feel like it has to mean something. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I remember watching his video and he explained what it means, but I, it was a while ago. Boom. Go take a stroll. I don't know if the socks are messing up the style points on it, but what do you think? Ignore the I'll socks. I'll give it to them. Comfort wise, I'm enjoying them. They're like kind of giving me cloud vibes. Like with each step, very which is soft. very good. Very soft on your foot. You do still look taller. I feel like you still got the same height. I would say for walking around day to day, these would be comfortable. Obviously wearing a shoe for five minutes is a lot different than wearing it for hours. So I don't know if it's the best judge of how a shoe feels for this one or the Danny Duncan ones. What do you like better? Comfort wise, I feel like these ones are a bit comfier, mm -hmm. more cushiony vibes in that one, which is running shoe. They definitely feel just, they, they like kind of basic looking. Very simple. Does it feel high quality though? Like when you- It does. It feels the like materials very, feel very nice. high quality, okay. I like the materials. I love the laces. That's my favorite part. These ones are also very simple, but the 69 at the bottom goes a long way for me. <laughs> in terms of like, like this one I love the most because of all the little Easter eggs. Like I love a cool, crazy shoe with a bunch of little things. Like even though the emojis are hella random to me, I love all the little Easter eggs and stuff that tie the shoe together in this one. All right, I'm gonna rank them and then you agree or disagree. Okay. Donovan, Mitchell X Ninja, Danny Duncan, Marquez. Agree. Functionality, agree? amazing. Pricing and functionality for running. Those are the last for pricing for me too. Yeah. That's where we're leaving it. On to the next round. Welcome to the snack round. We got three different YouTuber snacks. We're gonna rank them one to three, starting with Happy Snacks, which is the D'Amelio family's popcorn. It costs $11.90. Let's try these out. Kettle corn flavor looks like. Cotton candy, I'm sorry. Cotton candy. You gotta try that. It's good. It's interesting. <laughs> it works. You, you don't like it. I kind of disagree with you. you I disagree. don't think it works. Usually we don't align. Sometimes I like it and Jesse doesn't, but. I feel like cotton candy in the form of a popcorn is a little interesting. Like I'd rather just have like some kettle corn. Yeah. Or some chocolate popcorn. It's innovative. Would I get it again? No. no. But but to try it is interesting. Right? Yeah. That's the thing. If you're not going to get it again. Yeah. It's, it's not worth it's it. It's not worth it. Okay, this one's bad so far. But next, we got Unspeakables. This costs $6. It is an apple and straw kind of candy. No artificial flavors. Wait, is no. this not a juice box? Oh, it's, it's fruit, fruit snacks. snacks. Oh. Yeah. No yeah. artificial flavors, non-GMO, and made with real fruit juice. Hey, and what else? As got seen it? on YouTube. Oh. I like that it's $6 and you're getting 22 pouches. What a steal. That is awesome. That's crazy. And these are like pretty good sized packages. Let me show you guys. Oh my God, bro. Elementary school, if you you have one of these, the trading value you have so is high. through the roof, bro. <laughs> I bet like Gushers value. Dude, Gushers are value. It comes with cards too, look. You what? get a trading card. I like that it comes with a toy, bro. Like yeah. growing up, like my favorite would be like when you go to fast food, like Carl's Jr. And they have a different theme every month of a toy you get with your kid's meal. That's so nice. So I love that it comes with trading cards. Extra points already. But is it good? That's the ultimate factor. Okay, they look like cubes. It feels like a healthy snack. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'll say. He said it right on the dot. It's not bad though. 
Only 60 calories in each pouch. You can get away with this, like eating this. This mm -hmm. is healthier, but I'm not like, it's not bust. This is only $6, half the price of, of the pop popcorn. Yeah. So overall, this is a huge W. I'm giving it to them. Yeah. I like this. This is awesome. Massive W. This is $10 beef jerky from Max the Meat Guy. Very excited for this. I eat a lot of beef jerky. Inspired by the flavors of the South, Texas. Dude, this looks delicious. And it is delicious. Great. I gotta give it to it. It's very That's delicious. I love the texture of it too. I like how it's pepper, but also has a little bit of barbecue hint. One, two, three. Best bang for your buck. Comes with a little toy. 22 pouches is awesome. This was just solid. This was disappointing. A rip off. <laughs> I think we just lost our Charlie D'Amelio collab. No! It is time for the backpack round. We have the $40 Sidemen backpack. We have the $60 Markiplier backpack. And we have the $25 Jelly backpack. Let's compare the three of them. Starting off with the Jelly one. I'm gonna just say off rip. I like the little Jelly tags. Mm -hmm. I feel like that goes a long way. You know, for the cheapest backpack to have the coolest tags, says volumes. I like the padding on the back though. Like not every backpack has this. Look, it has oh, pads. These are the cooling pads, so it doesn't get too hot. Is that really what mm -hmm. it is? Mm -hmm. Damn. I feel like if you had a lot of books, like you're at school, like having the pads might be a little nice. Does it look cool? Oh, you look. All right, and you also have to pretend I'm in like elementary school. Like if I was in elementary school, what do you think? Dude, that's sick. <laughs> if you're in elementary school, that's sick. Open it up. Let's see how much space you yeah, kind of get into. Oh, decent space. Okay. It's kind of small. I do love when a backpack has this pocket right here to put like, you know, your wallet or phone. And it's just like, you know, you could just grab it. Cause sometimes when you got a lot of stuff in there, things get lost. Facts. One thing I would like is if it had a holder right here. For just a right laptop. Here. Yeah, yep. that would be clutch. Or like a notebook. Mm, another spot. With that extra little Pencils. pockets, pencil holders, whatever you need in there. I love this for 25 bucks. Yeah, for 25 bucks, that's a great deal. This is solid backpack. Next, we'll go to the Sidemen backpack. I really like the colors on this. Mm -hmm. Giving me Easter vibes, the color palette, like the pastels. It's got the Sidemen logo. Yeah, let me, let me put yeah, it on. Ahead. Oh, it's got the strap, so you can be extra locked in. Turn it around for us. Who wears the strap though, real talk? I feel like people wear it when they're hiking. Yeah. You know, like, it looks cool though when you were, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like You like the strap in the middle? You look, you look hip. I'm not a fan of the middle strap personally, but... Dude, that backpack looks sick. It goes hard? It goes hard. Clean design, the colors contrast well, really well. How does the, how does the straps feel? Because, oh, you do have the padding too. It's also the cooling straps. I don't have the back padding, but I got the front padding. Mm. Does it feel more comfortable? Yes, because I think that one is meant for a smaller human. Maybe I needed to untighten it, but it was a little tight, the jelly one. So yeah. this one is a little more comfy. Nice. Yeah, I like how the design, the design is very clean. Just a little SDMNN. <laughs> I don't like the strap in the middle. You don't like um, it? It's making me uncomfortable. Really? <laughs> why do you unstrap me? What's wrong with the strap? I just don't get it. Why does it make you uncomfortable though? I don't know. Like, why do you it's unstrap like, why do you gotta me? be strapped into your backpack? That's true. Well, let, let's get to the important part, the pockets. Oh, it doesn't have my favorite pocket. See if it has a laptop pocket. Ooh, it does have a laptop pocket and oh, it's it got does? this nice like felt material inside of it to keep the laptop safe. And it has another packet if you want to put some extra stuff in there. I like the inside of this bag so far. Oh, it does have it but it's just inside. Ooh. So it has that pocket I like. It's just hidden behind another pocket. Yeah, there's levels to nice it. Nice space for your stuff. It's deep. It's got the water bottle holder. I'm not gonna hold the biggest water bottle because it's not the most stretchy material. That's fine. Front pocket too. Front pocket, baby. Solid backpack overall. Now we have the most expensive backpack. <laughs> which is off rip, probably the worst material out of all the backpacks. $60 for this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it doesn't come with these attached. <laughs> it also has the cooling, so they all got that. We'll give it to him because you got to put these in yourself. That is crazy behavior. <laughs> this backpack feels very thin, the materials. Like the materials on the other backpack were much more thick. This is the lightest backpack by far in terms of weight. Wow. I really don't think Mark's using this. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Also, if we don't like anyone's products, it's nothing against them, but this backpack is not it. Okay, so we only got one main pocket. Any compartment in the, oh. Okay, it's got the little holder. A little holder. Like you can see the stitching in the inside. Uh, okay, one more pocket. So you only get two pockets with this one. Try it on. Okay, how do I look? Dude, I'm so sorry. Does it look sad? It kind of does. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn. It's, it's like a simple Jan Sports backpack, but I feel like the quality just like is kind of thin. Yeah, it's just thin. Yeah. It is like Jan Sports the same with the two pockets, right? Yeah. That's like a go-to for kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one definitely is holding the least amount of stuff. This is the most expensive item. Like I love Mark as a YouTuber. Yeah. I love everything he's done, but this backpack is a violation. Violation. <laughs> no offense. All right, let's rank them. Keeping price in mind and everything. Like if I were to use any of them, it would be the Sidemen one. Yes. So I guess for that reason, I'm going to put it first. First. 100%. I think it's the highest quality bag. So I got one, two, three. You know what's crazy? I agree. The Simon was definitely the best. Yeah, design wise, it's my favorite. It's just so clean. I love the color blocking. Wait, there's actually something inside this one. The next, the next product. product! This is the Glitterati. Now this is Brad Mundo. He's a beauty YouTuber. He made a styling serum that has sprinkles in it. <laughs> or what is it? Glitter. Glitter. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. Winner gets to style the other person. I'm going rock. I'm going rock too. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What are you going this time? Paper. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You <laughs> lied to me! I'm sorry. Best two out of three. No, we said straight <laughs> up. Did we? Yeah, look, play back the clip. Straight up. Best two out of three. All right, shot for shot. That's the only fair way. Bet. I'm, I'm all upper body. Oh. I'm winning this. <laughs> All right, you win. So you need to dampen the hair. Nice, good damp, good damp. Let me give you a little bit. Let me see how the pump looks. Everybody gotta see what the pump looks like. First pump's always dry. Okay, I feel like I'm not supposed to put that much. You know, like, you're just supposed to get like one pump. This is a lot. All right, Jess, you ready? All right, I'm ready. What are you gonna style it with? Oh my God. I'm just gonna get it in there first. Oh, I see the glitter. Is it looking good? Yeah, it looks great. It smells good. It smells good, yeah. I'd like to also mention, it's a $30 product, but right now it's only $9. No one's buying it. <laughs> you know, you have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. I thought we were reviewing product. Um, I don't see that much glitter. Everybody's shaking their head no. It just looks like your hair's wet, a little bit styled. Do you think it needs to dry or no? Definitely needs to dry, but you should be able to see glitter right away. Your hair's pretty dry already. Yeah, his, his hair's dry. I see more glitter on my hands than on Jesse's head. Well, now we know why it's discounted. Yes, doesn't work. And I don't know why you would want maybe, it. Maybe, maybe we need to just use more. You know, I don't want to give this, this dude a bad review. It's getting glittery. There we go. See, I kind of like it though. If you were to go for the glittery look, it's kind of there. It's so subtle that like, like I'm far from you. I can't tell you got glittery hair, but if I'm up close, I'm like, damn, your hair's sparkling, bro. So the closer you get, the more attractive I get. All right, what are you giving it out of 10? I can't actually see it. First of all, I don't know why I would use it, but second of all, the fact that it's not that glittery, I'm giving it a three. Yeah, look at yourself. You'll see it, right? I really don't notice it. Me personally, I'd rather be a little bit more glittery. Yeah. <laughs> There's very minor. And yeah, we put a bunch. You know what I am? What? Disappointed! And fabulous. What? And fabulous. It is time for the toys and collectibles round. This is Ryan's Toy Reviews Mystery Box. This is a YouTube with Anthony Padilla. He is an OG YouTuber. YouTube makes different collectibles of a bunch of creators and also like TV shows and stuff. Then we have Van Oss Limited at $50. Three little collectibles. Let's start off with Ryan's Toy Reviews. Bro, all I'm saying, if I got this as a child, I would be so hyped to play with Sad, this thing. This bro. thing looks crazy. Okay. Oh, uh, it does that, guys. Okay, it does yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think the mystery box can actually turn into a, like a robot. All right, go ahead. Oh my go God, ahead. there's a 30 step instruction on how to make this thing. You already passed steps through, I think you skipped some steps. <laughs> you gotta open this bad boy somehow. Okay, oh, so okay. it has a little it ring out, in it. And then you open it with a key. Oh, it's a key. Just, oh That's wow. so That's sick. sick. Oh my All right. God. Open the package. Comes with some toys. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is so sick. What is it? <gasps> no yeah. way. Like this is awesome. Oh, one for you. Do I get a mask too? Yeah, I'm already having so much fun. What this is, is for you. Oh, I get a cape? Wee. <laughs> oh, All right, the I'm a little is... too big for yeah. it. Okay, and then you get the key. So now you're a superhero. You get the key and you unlock this, the same key. So. 
put it in here to open these. Nice. Wow. So these are your mystery items. So this is your mask. Dude, this I thing. I love how much fun Jesse's having. This right is now. like, it keeps on giving. This is how all mystery boxes should be. If there's candy in here. What? Okay, that is, yeah, your little toy. Look at this. Comes with this little dude right here who looks dope. That's awesome. I love that you have to use this key. I don't even know how that works, but it works. Yeah, somehow it is locked and then when the key goes in there, open. Okay, we get another toy. It just keeps going. <gasps> that was sick. Dude. Is that frog? Frog lizard man. That's gas. He's awesome. Bro, I am like, <laughs> so happy. Like I'm getting euphoria right now, just opening these things. Yeah, bro, I'm buying this. Like next time I go to the Walmart, I'm definitely coughing. Dang. Oh, oh, I got Ryan. I think this no is Ryan. No way! This is, this is Ryan. That's sick. I think I got uh, a bad guy. This dude looks like yeah, kind of devious. Like so you okay. get four action figures. Let me see the next steps, okay? So after that's done, put the key in the back. You see, where is the, oh, oh. right here. Oh my God, there's so many things to open. There's another one. You should be oh able to God. build this thing into a robot. Okay. All right, let's just see if we can speed run the robot real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, we no just no way. We just went from a box to a freaking robot, and we ended up with four. This might be the best item of the oh video. My goodness! All right, wait, wait, wait. We have to choose who's in the top. Oh! I think we put Ryan up there. Okay, fair. Hey, that's crazy. That's sick. The mystery box that kept on giving and turned into a robot. This is a massive W. Next up, we got the U2s. Now I like, you open it up. There's too much to think about. Must be one of his quotes. Now me personally, if I were to buy a U2s, I would keep it in the box and just, you know, put it on my desk, but we're gonna take it out today. The quality, super high quality for a collectible. Wow. I feel like it's like a pop figure, but a little higher quality. Yeah, the details is amazing. I love this. You know what would be amazing? If there was a, a Jesser version. Shh, they didn't see nothing. You know, you wouldn't really play with this one, but you'd put it on the shelf, it would look dope. Mm -hmm. Great collectible. I feel like we gotta do a test. Kids are very aggressive, they might throw it. Will it break if I okay. throw it? Do you think it will break? I think so. But I'd all say right. you chuck it across the room. So let's say I'm like a kid who's unhappy all of a sudden. Wham! All right, so it will break if you throw it, but you, you can put it back You together. just found another mystery item. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah! It keeps on giving. Oh, I found the star. <gasps> that is okay, so I'm sick. Distract. Now we had a fidget spinner. Now we have the Vanoss Limited. I am a big fan of Vanoss. His videos are dope, but I will say like, these guys are kind of scuffed up. Like the top of it is kind of scuffed. Is this used? It's not used. It feels like it, yeah, we just bought it secondhand. So I like the box. I like the little script, Vanoss Limited. I mean, they're dope little figurines. Like I would definitely put this on my shelf if I was a big Vanoss fan. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Cool collectible. The head's pretty hard, but they are kind of squishy. So you can almost like pull them apart. I don't want to break it though. But they got squishy vibes, which is cool. I feel like the U2s is a bit higher quality than these ones. Agreed. And this, this one's $50. You do get three, but they're smaller each one. Yeah. Ranking wise is what I'm doing. I'm saying Ryan, the U2s, the Van Austin. I don't think any of them are bad. I'd like to say that as well. But if I were to rank them, like, come on, dude. We're, this we're, thing is insane. Look at this fidget spinner. We're 25 years old plus, and we had so much fun with that one. And also, <laughs> that means there's another leg out there with something we haven't something. unwrapped. This is Preston's comforter set. So this is a regular bed. Let's put it on. Boom! There it is. It is on the bed. Fire Nation. Now this comforter set costs $90. Comes with a comforter, two pillowcases. I will say, comfy comforter. Very soft. Very nice, very soft. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I wish the pillows were like a different design than the bed. Like, I don't know. It's all the same design each piece. Yeah. Didn't seem like a lot of thought went into it. Yeah. Just like toss fire on there. And that's it, Fire Nation. I'm glad it doesn't have Preston's face on it because that would be kind of scary. That's what I thought it was going to be because I've seen LeBron James comforters. They look like this. So I thought that's what it was going to be with Preston's face, but I'm I'm pleasantly surprised and glad it's a design yeah. and it's fire. Yeah. All yeah. right. Like how big of a fan do you have to be to, yeah. get, to want to like have a comforter, like sleep? Pretty big fan. <laughs> that's like the highest uh, level. The glazing is crazy <laughs> if you have this. You look mad comfy. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. He looks stylish. He gets the job done. Hey, it's kind of chill. If you could have a comforter with anything on it, what would it be? I'm a simple guy. This is a tough question for me to ask. What would you have? I'd probably go 
nice big comforter like Callie King size <laughs> <laughs> with anime girls on it. Yeah. If I could choose. You know what time it is? What time is it? Time for the next product. <laughs> it's time to spill the tea on tea. This is the tea round. This is Zadiko, Zach from the Try Guys, made his own tea, so this is $20. And we're comparing it to an English tea, which costs $6 for 20 packets. Let me read some of the information on the back. Off Packaging off rip, this wins. Mm -hmm. Can you agree? Yeah, very uh, creative. It says, mornings are hard. Zach's breakfast is here to help. Let this tea wrap your body in a tight hug and tell you everything will be all right. That's what I need in the mornings. So I'm excited to try it. Tough mornings? Yeah. Especially lately. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I'm not a big tea drinker myself, but it's nice. Jeff is a big tea drinker. I drink tea every single day. And usually when I drink tea, I have to add sugar to it, but this is sugar less right now. And it's very good. Damn. Versus regular tea. Usually when I drink tea, that's not sugarless. Trash. This tastes like a herbal tea. It's like very flowery. Usually tea is made out of like different type of leaves. So it tastes very earthy. It says it's supposed to be anti-inflammatory. That's great. So yeah, eat yeah, that. Yeah, drink some right, more. Let's try the English tea. This company has been around for over 300 years. Do you think that their tea was the one poured into the ocean by US? Mm. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, no, this one is a million times better. See, it's, it's, it's not good, right? There's I didn't like that. Wow. That is so good for no sugar and, and nothing. That is great. Even though the price is a bit higher, it tastes way better. It's anti-inflammatory. I'm going with it. I agree. My vote is for Zydeco. YouTube on top. Jeff, what has been your favorite product of the day? I have two. For food, sour strips, very surprising. I love them. For the toys and products, Ryan Toys. I'm a, I know that's a freaking toys. It's a kid's thing. It caught me by surprise. I thought it was pretty awesome for a creator. What about you, Jess? You know, not to be biased, my favorite product was the Jesser over the door mini <laughs> hoop. Of course it's my favorite product. It has to be. So that's my favorite. And if you want to get that, you can get it at your local Walmart or I'm going to put a link in the description. You can get it on walmart.com. But if you want to see us open more YouTuber products and review them, it is popping up right there. Click it, check it out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.